This is the 39th video in our series looking at how to complete a basic setup and configuration of a Synology Network Attached Storage Device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. When we first set up direct access on our Synology NAS, because we made our NAS accessible via the internet, we also made it more vulnerable to external attack. So because one of the most obvious attack vectors for any hacker will be our administrator's username and password, in this video we're going to enable two-step verification to make it more difficult for a hacker to gain remote access to our NAS. Two-step verification is simply a process that will force us to use two separate forms of authentication in order for us to be able to log into the station manager as an administrator. So while we will continue to use our existing administrator's username and password, moving forward we will also be required to enter a randomly generated passcode in order to access our administrator's account. In order to configure two-step verification, we will need the following. The details for either an SMTP, Google or Outlook email account, a mobile device, for example, a phone or tablet, an authentication app such as 2FAS Auth or Google Authenticator. Before we configure two-step verification on our Synology NAS, Let's take a quick look at the Authenticator app we will be using in this video. While there are a number of different applications that you can use, the one that we will be using in this example is an app called TooFast Auth, which is a free to install application available for either Android or iOS devices. When we first start the app, we need to give the application access to push notifications. After selecting Allow, we're then asked if we want the app to be able to send notifications to our iPad. For this option, we've decided to select Don't Allow. Next, we are asked for permission to access our camera. As you will see later, because we need to use the camera, we will once again select Allow. Before we are taken to the main screen, we are reminded that any codes that we create are only stored in memory on the device that we are using. We're also reminded to enable recovery options in case we lose the device that we're working from. Finally, we're warned not to delete this app if we still have two-step verification enabled on our NAS. When we reach the token list screen, we are ready to enable two-step verification on our NAS. As we will only be enabling two-step verification on our administrator's account, we will first need to log into the Station Manager using our administrator's account. Now from the desktop of our DSM, we need to locate and select Options. From the drop-down menu, we now need to select the option called Personal. When the Personal panel opens, we are presented with a series of tabs. For this project, we are only interested in two tabs, Email Account and Account. Let's get started by ticking the option Enable Two-Step Verification. In order to still be able to access our NAS, if we lose or misplace the device that we've installed our authentication app on to, we first need to create an alternative method to still be able to access our NAS. So by setting up an email account for our administrator's account, we will have an alternative way to unlock our NAS. As you can see, the wizard will allow us to use either a Google or Outlook email account. However, for all other types of email account, we need to highlight Customize and then choose Next. We now need to enter the SMTP server address for our active email account. Next, we need to enter the SMTP port for our SMTP server. While ours is 25, you may need to check which SMTP port number your email account uses. We now need to tick Authentication Required 
and enter the username and password for our email account. As our SMTP server is secure, we will also need to tick the option Secure Connection is required. In the sender email field, we will simply enter the email address for our administrator's account. In sender name, we will type system admin. However, this can be any name that you would prefer to use. Let's now check that our settings are correct by selecting test connection. Having confirmed that we can connect to our SMTP server, we can now select apply. With an email account now associated with our administrator's account, you would expect to see the account listed when we select the email account tab. However, as this panel has not been fully updated, the new email account will not be listed. So let's close the personal panel and then reopen it. If we once again select email account, you can now see that the email account we've just configured is now listed. Let's select account and now try to enable two-step verification. As we have now set up an email service for our administrator's account, we are shown the two-step verification wizard. When we select next, we're first asked to confirm our email address. As this address is the email address that we've assigned to our administrator's account, we will select next. We are now prompted to install an authentication app onto our mobile device. However, as we've already done this, we can now either manually enter a secret key or use the QR code being displayed. As we found using the QR code to be more reliable, we will be using this option. So let's switch back to our mobile device. As you can see, within the Authenticator app, we are shown the token panel. However, currently we have no tokens listed. So if we select the Add button, we are shown a drop down menu. From the drop down menu, we need to select Scan QR Code. We now need to point the camera on our mobile phone at the QR code being displayed in Distation Manager. When the QR code has been processed, we're asked to give the unknown service a name. So for our example, we will give this token the name Synology NAS. After selecting Rename, a Synology NAS token is displayed. The token will now generate a six digit number every 30 seconds. Let's return to Distation Manager and the two step verification wizard. You will have noticed that within the wizard, we're now prompted to enter the six digit code being displayed in our Authenticator app. Please note that you will need to enter the verification code being displayed by the Authenticator app before the random code changes. When we select next, we're informed that two-step verification has been enabled for our administrator's account. Let's select close and try to log into our administrator's account using two-step verification. First, let's log out of DisStation Manager. If we now try to log back into DisStation Manager using our administrator's username and password, when we try and sign in, we're prompted to enter a six digit code. If we return to our Authenticator app, by using the timer, we can make sure that we give ourselves enough time to enter the six digit code needed in order to sign back into DisStation Manager. Let's once again log into DisStation Manager and take a look at what you would do if you lose your mobile device or something goes wrong with your Authenticator app. If we once again sign out of DisStation Manager, we are returned to the login page. However, this time, after entering our administrator's credentials and being prompted for a six digit code, if we select the lost your phone link, we're informed that an emergency code has been sent to our email address. If we open the email for our administrator's account, 
you can see that we have an email waiting which contains an emergency verification code. If we enter this code into the sign-in screen for DiStation Manager, we're once again given access to the DSM. If needed, we can now disable two-step verification from our administrator's account. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you enable two-step verification for the administrator's account on our Synology NAS. In order to do this, we first had to install an Authenticator app onto a mobile device. We then had to configure an email account for the administrator's account on our NAS. Next, we ran through the setup wizard for two-step verification and demonstrated how we create a security token in 2 auth. Finally, we looked at how, after enabling two-step verification, we log into the station manager and what to do if you lose your mobile phone or if your authenticator app stops working.